Hello, again, in the living room, by the couch and the carpet. Uh, I've got three boxes here, all from Goodwill. Small, medium, and large. We're going to go with the small again. Uh, this medium one is pretty light. And this small one is not particularly heavy either. The big one, I'm pretty sure, is loose bulk. Uh, but, yeah, these I'm not so sure about, so we'll find out. Oh, we've got the crushed cardboard packing. Gotta love it. All right, so this was a game called Welcome to the Dungeon, and I think that was something I added on because I was getting something here already. And this is the Django Fett buildable figure. Now, it's been opened, uh, but I think... Yeah, so we've got a combination of sealed bags and not sealed bags. Um, so I thought it was pretty good. Um... There's an original price here from Meyer of $30, $29.99. Well, I tell you, if you could get that for $29.99 now, you'd be doing really well. I don't recall how much I spent on it, and there does not seem to be a packing slip in here. So we're going to put this aside. Now we're going to open up the medium-sized one. Kind of weird how this is like this on the box. Like it's almost like the box is inside out or something. I don't know. All right, so that would explain why it's lighter. It is not uh, full of loose Lego or anything. We got more of this crushed cardboard, but then here is some Lego, and that cardboard's going all over the place. So we got this large Ziploc bag. It looks like there might be a pack of cards or something in there. I don't know what that is. And uh, some more, and it looks like there is a, yeah, the top of this is opened up. It looks like a figure, maybe a couple of pieces have escaped in my packing slip. Yeah. So I paid $18 for all this, plus shipping and handling and all that. So it was $30. Um, perhaps a little bit more than I should have, but there was probably something in here that grabbed my attention. I see there's a horse. Um... There's figs through here. There's one with green snake-like head. He's probably one of the Ninjago villains. Yeah, so there's stuff in here. We'll figure it out. There's a lightsaber. Yep. And, uh, yeah. So now we just got the big one left, and we actually didn't like, load it up with stuff this time. So now we can actually open this one. Now this one is odd because the box is designed to open on a small end. Now that's the bottom. I should probably open it from what's the top? Because they may have put a bag in there and then the top of the bag would be the top and not the bottom. So I'll open it up correctly. Oops. But yeah, it's a fairly heavy box. So it's going to be loose bulk in here. There's almost no question with the rattling around and whatnot. Some paper and yeah, bag. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it feels like it's one bag all the way down. I'll open this up and take a look at the top. Oh, well, look at that. We've got sealed bag with some pieces in it. That's always good to see. And so now we've just got random pieces. Uh, I'm not seeing figs immediately. Uh, they may be in here, but I'm not seeing them. That's decidedly looking like not Lego to me, but maybe it is. That piece. It's like barbed wire. That's probably something out of one of the um, Call of Duty sets or something like that from Mega Bloks. I think it has the license for those. Yeah, I mean, it, you can't really dig the entire depth because it's really deep because of the, the way the box is designed. But yeah, we got stuff in there. All right, so there we go. Another little haul with three boxes from Goodwill. Thank you very much.